Hello everyone, uh, this is Victor Campos and we're continuing our shopping cart project. So I've got my fictional bakery, it's, uh, it's running, it's got various pages, it's got products, well one product so far. And now what I want to do is customize things a bit more. As soon as I install the plugin, WPE-Commerce, it gives me a few pages. It gives me products, checkout, transaction results, and your account. Let's say I don't want this generic products page. Let's say up on my nav bar here, I want to display about us, contact us, pies, cakes, and cookies. Three different categories that are, uh, and I want to put them in my nav bar instead of a generic products page. So that needs a little bit of setup. Number one, we need to create more than one product and assign it a category. And then number two, we need to create a page that displays that category. <clears throat> so let's check it out. I'll go to the back end. I'm in the dashboard again. We've got a category of products. This appears here because of the plugin. And at the moment, if you go to categories, from a previous video, I've created uh, one pie category. And it says there's one product in the pies category. You can click the number, and it shows you what products are in that category. I'm going to create uh, two more pies, and then maybe create a, a, a cake and a cookie. We'll see. But I want to add a new product. So we've got a uh, title. This will be Key Lime Pie. And I will add this on the right side to the pie category. Give that a price. And a picture is worth a thousand words, so I need a picture of a key lime pie. I'm going to borrow one. So then I could add it to my set featured image. And we've done this before. All right, so I've got an image, a price, a category, a title, and description. Go ahead and publish. If we look on the front end and we go back to products page, now we've got two products. Okay, what I want instead is a pie category in my navbar. So the way that works is in in WordPress whenever we create a new page it automatically gets added to our navbar. We can make custom navbars which we can talk about later. But for the moment I want under pages add new page and I'll call this pies And what we will put in the pie, we can uh, add uh, whatever text we want here. But because we've got this shopping cart plugin, you should see a brand new button at the end of your editing screen here. If you don't see those buttons, you might be under the text view instead of the visual view. Make sure you're under visual. And now you should see at the end of the first row of icons, add category to your product or that is add a category to your page or post. So that's what I want. Click that little credit card and it says do you want to add a category, a product, or do you want to check out some of the premium upgrades? Well I want a category. Select category. At the moment I've got only pie or pies and this says select the category you would like to display with a short code. We'll see what that means in a moment. If you got a hundred products in that category, you can limit it to a certain amount per page. Uh, if you've got sale products and such, you can display that. And I will insert. So what happens is it writes a short code, which is not really an HTML tag, but it's sort of like a tag in that it's almost like a command also. So this short code says in square brackets WPSC underscore products space category underscore ID equals three. So my pie category has, has an ID of three. This is something that was added internally. 
and the short code is saying display that product category in this page. Cool, let me publish. Go back to my uh, home screen and refresh, and now on my nav bar, I've got a brand new pies link. I click there, and this displays only my pies. Well, let's contrast that with a cake. Under paid, uh, under products, I will add a new product. And I will call this, uh, I think, uh, Black Forest Cake. And now I need a new product category because this is now a cake, not a pie. So click Add New Product Category. Call it Cake. Click Add New Product Category. It's selected as cake. Now I need a price and a picture. So I found a picture. And I will add it as the featured image. And publish. So what happened here is now if I refresh my site and I go to products category, it lists all of my products. There's a pecan pie, key lime pie, black forest cake. But if I go to pies category, of course it does not show up there because it's not categorized under, pie, un, under pies. So that means I need a new page, page add new. We'll call this Cakes. Click the Add Category button. Now we have a new category of Cake. Insert, Publish. Back to the front end, Refresh. Now we've got Cakes and Pies. And if I go to Cakes, I have one cake. So you can decide how you'd like to do this. If all products are listed under one page, which is the default, or different products are listed under different pages. And that's the great thing about WordPress. You can add your content and customize it in a variety of ways.